Hey, what's up guys, this is Winston. Uh, before we start, I wanted to tell you a quick story. Uh, I was going through my inbox and I found an email from ASRock. They wanted us to test the latest motherboard, the X399 Tai Chi. Um, so before we even finished the email, I heard a doorbell ring and then suddenly, bang! We got one of these. Yes, it's the uh, ASRock Tai Chi, the X399 Tai Chi motherboard. And we'll be fitting this the uh, Ryzen Threadripper 1950X into this motherboard and we'll be doing some benchmarks and comparing it with the Zenith Extreme which we reviewed the other day. So let's begin. All right, so here we have the ASRock X399 Tai Chi motherboard. We're gonna fit it into our test rig. Here's your Ryzen Threadripper CPU. It's a 1950X, 16 core, 32 threads. Let's mount this CPU onto our motherboard. Right, next we install the uh, M.2 Patriot Hellfire SSD. I think we're going to install it right here. We also have the Corsair Vengeance RGB uh, DDR4 3000 and we'll be installing these as well. For our graphics card, we have the GeForce GTX 1080 from Zotac. Let's put this into the system. So after about 45 minutes of building, the system is ready to go. Let's power this baby up. Alright, now you've seen our Threadripper build, let's move on to a quick unboxing of the ASRock X399 Tai Chi motherboard. Alright, we have the ASRock X399 Tai Chi motherboard. It's a huge box, look at the size of this. Right, let's get the uh, unboxing underway. Alright, let's... Uh, Take this out. So, yeah, it's a humongous box. All right, let's take this out. Wow, look at the size of this box. All right. Okay, so we have the uh, motherboard. There's two layers. As you can see, this is the uh, motherboard box there, and then this is the accessory box. So, let's take a look at the uh, Accessories. What do we have here? We have um, yep, three-way SLI. Uh, this is the four-way SLI. Okay, and uh, two-way. Yep. So we have two-way, three-way, and uh, four-way SLI bridges there. Okay. Two SATA cables. Okay, there's the uh, M.2 screws there for your SSDs. Two aerials, antennas for your uh, Wi-Fi, and the uh, I.O. shield. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So, as far as the accessories goes, there's no add-on cards or any expansion cards like the uh, Zeus uh, Zenith Extreme that we had before. So, let's take a look at the uh, other side, we have on the other side, um, what's this? Oh, postcard. Oh, it's getting quite popular having postcards. Um, then we have the um, driver, yep, on a DVD disc. And then we have uh, what's this Wi Fi connector utility. Uh, this is the X399 Tai Chi. Uh, quick instruction installation guide, software setup guide, so we have two manuals there. And this is pretty much it for the uh, accessory box. All right, so we have the motherboard in this box. So we're gonna take this out. Okay, got some foam packaging here to protect the motherboard. Let's uh, get this out of the box. 
All right. And we have the, um, the ASRock X399 Tai Chi motherboard, as you can see. Quite heavy board, very similar to the, uh, the Asus Zenith Extreme that we uh, reviewed earlier. All right. ASRock X399 Tai Chi motherboard. Let's start off with the, uh, the TR4 socket. So uh, same uh, instructions. You have to unscrew three, two, one to uh, release the bracket. And then you can put the uh, processor in. All right. Okay. Uh, let's start off with the dim slots. We have a total of eight DDR4 dim slots. So you're gonna have quad channel DDR memory. All right. So let's start and over to the top here. We have um, the eight pin uh, PSU power for your motherboard. And also here on this side, it's the, uh, the four pin also power. Then we have uh, the 24 pin ATX usual power connector there, uh, USB 3, okay, U.2, and then a total of uh, eight SATA ports, and then uh, an extra six pin power connector right here, see that there? And then moving over to this corner, we have um, USB 3 again, diagnostic LED, a clear CMOS, and the reset and power button. Uh, these are really good for, uh, especially when you overclock, and uh, looks really nice on the board. And then moving on, we have uh, USB 2, uh, HD audio, um, some more connectors here. Notice there's uh, three Ultra M.2 connectors, and this one is actually on the board itself. So I like that feature, rather than having it on the, an expansion card. Um, so very nice. So you get Ultra M.2, three of them. One, two, three. Okay. We have the uh, nice ASRock heatsink here, the Taish design, which uh, has LEDs underneath. The RGB LEDs, very nice. And moving over here, we have the, uh, the Purity Sound 4 underneath here. And then moving over, we have the uh, PCIe 16 slots here, 1, 2, 3, 4, give you a quad SLI, uh, or obviously compatible with the uh, Crossfire as well. Here we have one uh, uh, PCIe one time slot. Looking at the uh, motherboard, uh, you can see a nice, very nice heat sink and then a uh, heat pipe as well to go with the uh, heat sink on the top here. Very nice. All right, so underneath this hood then, let's look at the I.O. Uh, we have the, uh, the BIOS flashback button here. PS2, keyboard and mouse, USB, 3.0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 of them in total. We also have uh, the antennae uh, connector there. Uh, optical out, an array of uh, audio connectors. Dual uh, gigabit LAN. And then we have your USB 3.1, that's the A type and the C type. Okay, very nice. Okay, so look at the back of the board. Back of the board, um, usual back plate for your uh, processor socket there. Um, nothing else much. Okay. So uh, yeah, very nice board. Looks very similar to the uh, X299 that we reviewed uh, the other day. Um, this time around, obviously, it's the uh, X399 Tai Chi. Yep, suitable for uh, all the Ryzen Threadripper CPUs. 
It's a TR4 socket right here. So we'll be comparing this motherboard um, against the uh, Asus Zenith Extreme and see how it performs. I'm expecting similar performance, uh, especially from a very powerful uh, Threadripper 1950X. So, here you go. This is the uh, ASRock X399 Tai Chi motherboard. Hope you've enjoyed our video. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips.